Hello everyone, this is Video Game Butter and in this video I'm gonna show you the build that I will be using for the upcoming uh, Diablo 4 event, the Avatar of Zir, and the primary objective is to combine the durability of the immortal build with the destructive power of uh, Hota. So the aim is to simplify the gameplay and ensure it runs as smoothly as possible. So uh, huge thanks to uh, Rob's build for the Hota and the Immortal build. I've been testing them a lot since it came out and now um, I think Rob released a new build solely for the Avatar of Zir. So I'm using it right now and I've been changing some things to make it work for me and make my gameplay and Nightmare Dungeons as smooth as possible. So I think let's start with the, um, the helm. I'm still using the Harlequin Crest here. Uh, we need this for the damage damage reduction mainly and plus 4 ranks to all skills. Then we're using the Disobedience for more bulk. We are also focusing on um, the damage reductions and total armor. The plus 92 overpower damage with um, bludgeoning weapons is not a must. If you want, you can exchange this to um, life or whatever damage reduction you can get but this also helps to give our overpower uh, additional damage now for the gauntlets i change it to edge master now for the pants i'm still using the iron blood this one is from the immortal build uh, this helps me get more uh, additional damage reduction total armor and uh, in general more bulk if I think I am comfortable enough for, to tank the mobs in uh, Avatar Vizier I am going to change it to Tibalt's Wheel to get more damage and also um, unstoppable and gain primary resource for the boots um, I'm still using the one I'm using from Immortal Build, the Relentless Berserker with um, Dodge Chance you can up for uh, lightning resistance or cold resistance for this also the damage reduction while injured is i think a helpful stat for this one you can also get rid of the movement speed and get more um, resistance if you need but personally i want movement speed for my barb as i think it's a very slow uh, character next one for the 200 bludgeoning maze we're still using the limitless uh, rage for a dual handed weapon we're using the ancestral force uh, to make the hota uh, more aoe we're also using the doom bringer mainly for the max life and uh, some damage for the 200 sword i'm using the grandfather to get more damage and for the amulet we're using the melted heart of selig uh, I know this is gonna be nerfed in Season 3, but I think it still works for, for um, PvE, especially for Avatar of, Z Avatar of Zir. And we're still, we still can use it for at least 6 weeks before it gets nerfed. Next one would be the Ring of Red Furrer. This will help us give uh, or get more uh, overpower damage. And for the last ring, uh, it depends to you. Uh, in my case, I'm still using the Starlight Loop as I think it pairs well with uh, Melted Heart of Selig. Uh, in case uh, you don't find it usable, you can use um, Loop of Echoing Fury um, Assimilation to uh, get more dodge along with the dodge chance on the boots. And I think you can also use the Bold Chieftain. I personally like that uh, ring, but I think it's in the it's in my um, stash here. Let's check. Is it Echoing Fury? This one. I think there's a good ring also. Don't mind this one. So also, if I think uh, the enemies are um, not damaging me enough, or I can tank the enemies, I'm gonna switch to Banish Lord's Talisman to give more uh, damage to my overpower. But right now, I think. Uh, this one is the best build to conquer um, Avatar of Zeal and uh, level up the Tears of Blood, uh, Paragon, Glyph faster. So for the Vampiric powers, uh, we're using Blood Boil, Prey on the Weak, uh, Domination, Metamorphosis, and Resilience. I think uh, Prey on the Weak is a bit bugged based on... Uh, Woody Joe's testings, but I cannot confirm that yet. So yeah, for the expertise, we're using the 200 uh, Axe Expertise. And for the skill tree, I switched some of the skills to give more bulk to my build. 
this basically rubs build but i um changed some of it to make it work for me uh in rubs build he's using ground stomp but in my case i don't really use ground stomp well so rub is using this to give more or at least help the cooldown um, of the Wrath of the Berserker but in my case I don't really use Wrath that much I only use it if it's available but um, I use the points to I think I put it in Martial Vigor so I'm gonna put the detailed link or the detailed planner in the description below so once again this is Rob's build and I modified it to make sure that it connects with my gameplay and simplify it more and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. For the Parangon board, uh, while I do not have the uh, Tears of Blood yet, I'm using Might. I think in the original build of Rob, there's a missing point. So I modified it quite a bit to at least get the additional bonuses of the glyphs. Now let's do some uh, Nightmare Dungeons to test the build. Critical Resist. Now this is a bad dungeon. Unstoppable. I think this is a good one. Let's do this. You can see we can easily tank the blood blisters. Let's test how tanky we can get. Right now, I'm still I'm not using any buff or elixir, but it, as you can see, you, you can still tank uh, lots of mobs. don't really need to kill all of the mobs, but uh, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna try to clear it, clear mobs as many as possible. Easy. Now, if you if you are using the Tibolt's wheel, you can get more um, damage. But I think for Zir, we still don't know how um, the maps are gonna be in the higher tier level. So I'm still using the Iron Blood for more bulk. It's raining sea juice.
Let's try the three bolts, Will. Yeah, significantly more damage, but I'm gonna stick to the uh, tankiness of the build. So, yeah, that's about it. Now, once again, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as each one of those things helps me out in a huge way. So, again, thank you and good luck on the new event of Diablo 4 Avatar of Zir. Thanks!